Welcome back to beautiful Sunset Beach. This is the Vans World Cup of Surfing. Jeremy Flores, Howie Belly, Dusty Payne, and Jamie O'Brien hit the water in heat 11 for a 30-minute showdown. Aiden Nichols got to be feeling good about his performance in that last heat, but here we go. Up and riding, Cowie Belly. Omi, waving through this inside, but looking like it could form up nicely as he tries to get around this section, and he might have waited just a bit too long to get going. It looks good on the other side of that white water, but he is just too deep to get around that section. In the spot, and here we have Jeremy Flores, his first wave. He's fading back. Ooh, it was looking like it had a good line on it, but he hit a chop or something and just got blown off his board. That's true. Way to look at the positives, Chris. <laughs> Glass is half full here. Look at the front foot. Oosh! That, that was, was violent. Not pretty. Also, managing to uh, maintain composure in a wild opening start to this wave. Dusty Payne, one carve. Now he's painting off the bottom. Nice snap. Perfectly placed. Dusty Payne could have a great section to work with through on this inside. One more big car for Dusty Payne. Now we've got a score of note here in Heat 11. And right behind him, Cowie Belly, a beautiful layback snap. Start this wave, grabbing his rail, somehow maintaining control. Wow, that was that crazy was surfing. Awesome. Oh, live action. So started slow, but now we have a fist fight on our hands. Three waves in a row. Jamie O'Brien now getting involved. So you said it, Ross. We were waiting for the water to kind of calm down after a big roll through set. High wave. He threw down, but first up, Dusty Payne. This was a nice set. We had three great waves in this set where they were actually surfable. Kind of tame. He even got to tag the lip there. I was with you, Chris. I thought that wave was going to give him one more good section, but it just hit the channel a little too early and kind of fattened up. So just the one nice maneuver for Dusty, that's going to keep that score right in the average range. This was wild. Watch this layback hack. Boom. Again, I mean, that looks like something you'd see on a head-high wave. That was nearly triple overhead. Then right in bed into, the, uh, into the whitewash. I love how it made that kind of almost just a decent carve. Super exciting how he hit that rebound. The, that rebound was really cool. And he, you know, kind of held control. That was a wild ride for Kaya Belly. So again, I'm going to think it's a massive score. Little layback snap there for Jamie. Clean wall, but that whitewash is kind of just consuming the wall there. Didn't really give him that steep wall he wanted. So it, it's just another average score, but Kaya Belly got the one. Takes a lot of guts to do two maneuvers like that. Fortune favors the brave. Kaya Belly is rewarded an 8.67. Excellent scoring wave for your young Brazilian surfer currently enjoying that top spot. Right back into it, eight minutes and 40 seconds to go. Jeremy Flores trying to climb back into this heat. One grab rail turn as he bounces toward the channel, trying to get a line to get right back to the outside. And Cali Belly right now, hanging onto that lead. Jamie O'Brien in second. Dusty Payne in third, waiting for that second wave. Looks like we've got a deep paddle. Could be our first left of this event. Now he fades. Off to the classic right hand line, all almost getting around and cannot. <laughs> he Door was slammed in his face. So close to that shoulder uh, for a long, long time, but Sunset is notorious for doing that. Frustrating wave there for Kyle. He's trying to look for a backup score. Jamie O'Brien during the highlights, smooth little car right there. He likes to flick that tail at the end. Trademark Jamie O'Brien. And then a nice closeout re entry. So he's chipping it away, isn't he? 4.5, 3.6. They're not huge scores, but he's got a little cushion to work with. So it is right now seemingly kind of a battle for second place. A nice little grab, grab, grab rail carve there for Jeremy Flores, although there was a little bit of a hiccup there. He kind of caught an edge. It's Jeremy Flores finding the roll in. Deep bottom turn, getting around this big whitewater section. Found himself in a pretty oh. cool space on the wave. A, a kick out going awry. For our eye on Jeremy, he looked like he landed hard, right in a spot where you do not want to get hit by your surfboard. Yeah, he, well, he was frustrated because he slipped. His back foot slipped just a little bit right there, see? And he kind of got back on, so he says, man, I'm over it. I ruined this wave. And was frustrated, went for like a little kick flip, kick out, but the wind pushed the board right back in between his legs. He's lucky he didn't knife himself with that fin because they, they don't have two solid scores. They're just trying to get in this heat 
And there he is. Having a look. We're good. He's a tough guy. Was that Billy Kemper, maybe? Looked like Billy from this angle. Backing him up on his board. Unafraid. But watch out. Speaking of heavy situations, Cowie Belly still looking to erase that backup of a 1.5. And that, that's a way to try to do it. Cowie Belly now putting his name on that list. This is heavy. Well, this is live right here. Dusty Payne. Huge gouging turn to start this wave off. Could be forming up nicely on this inside section. Dragging his hand along the wall, hoping for the tube to appear. It does not. So Dusty Payne, who is currently in fourth place, only needing a three-point wave. This is one of the tightest heats we've seen on the day, Ross. Three and a half to go. Himself a second score yet. So he's just got the one monster score. Dusty Payne has a five. Wow. Big maneuver on the outside. That was right when we were trying to take a quick look at, at Kyle's barrel and then a nice smooth cut back to finish that wave off. He didn't, you know, he wanted one more maneuver, but that wave didn't really allow for it. But that big cranking hook on the outside. 1.67. Boom. Erase that. Dusty Payne on the strength of how you described a big cranking, arcing power turn. Dusty Payne gets a 7, 6, 7. That's enough to launch him into that number one spot. Two and a half minutes to go. And amazing. Pocket aces for Dusty Payne. Well, here we go. Jamie O'Brien, he is in third place, needing a 6.8. That way it was coming down on him with the full force of the Pacific Ocean. He opts out wisely. He's got a minute and a half to find himself one more opportunity. Jeremy Flores now. He's got a good line ahead of him. Pulls in. And the wave closes out on any chance for J-Flow to get that score he needs. Taking the high line. A little bit of a cover-up. Goes on to the open face and somehow maintains control. An awkward but kind of awesome looking layback. Way to grind it out. He didn't mean to do that, but stood back up and made the turn nonetheless. So his last wave comes through at a 1.9. 45 seconds to go. That's Cali Belly, 1.9 is what he's trying to throw away. This was crazy, Ross. This should secure his advancement. He'll he'll fly into second place now. He'll he'll secure that second place and kind of keep Jamie and Jeremy at bay. That was wild, straight up yoga. That was a yoga carve. That was the best recovery I've seen yet in this contest. <laughs> he did a carve as clean as a whistle. It would score high. And, you know, he'll get a little bit of a deduction for being wild, but nonetheless, he pulled it off. Yeah, and he did get that little barrel.